Eric B's daily vlogs. From one part of the bay, out looking towards the Pacific Ocean. Beautiful windy day today. I'm here in the Sutro Baths neighborhood. Nice clear day. You can see as far as the Farallon Islands, if you look directly right there. I'm not here to look at the ocean today. There's a trail up that way. I'm gonna go check out. While we're here, it's just nice to see the Pacific. Let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Before I start, Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to get my subscriptions up. Someone said, man, only 2,000? Hey, I started off with zero, and I'm at 1783. 2,000 is my next level. So hit that subscribe button. Remind your friends, remind your family members. Check out Airbnb's daily vlogs. But today, Sutro Baths, right behind me right there. You got the Pacific behind me as well. And I'll tell you, man, I'm really impressed with the wind muff. On this DJI lav mic and the fact that it's recording and you can barely hear the noise or the wind to me is impressive as Darth Vader said most impressive but I'm here to check out not this over here I'm here to check out the trail on the other side over there so we're gonna go walk down that path make sure my car was secured because this is one of those high crime rate areas and again the wind is blowing all over my face. So let's go walk over there. Let's go check out what this trail has to offer. Let's go. Let's go. This is where I'm at. Land's End. And if you look at the map, this is where I'm at right now. I'm not gonna walk all the way over here. You have Legion of Honor over here, the VA hospital over here, but there's this short little path I just want to check out and it actually tells you how far we're hiking right there overlooks 0 0.3 miles Eagle Point 1.4 mile USS San Francisco Memorial I've been there before 0.2 miles and Mile Rock Beach 0.8 miles my goal is to get as far as Mile Rock Beach but we'll see we'll see how that goes today now this is a highly visited tourist spot. There is always a lot of people walking this trail. Locals and tourists or even like sub-tourists. When I say sub-tourists, I mean suburban tourists that lives outside of San Francisco but likes to do this little hike. And if you can see behind me, the trees right over there. The good thing about this spot is there's a public bathroom. Very important thing if you're visiting this area, and you just happen to be with someone that needs the bathroom, it's a public bathroom over here. But this is a good hike, it's a good mile. I did bring this today, it's my monopod because there is wild animals here. And from what I heard, there's crazies that hangs out in the bush. So I'm gonna make my way to Point Rock Beach, 0.8 miles. So it shouldn't be a long walk, knowing me, I won't make it. We'll see. You can see the sun slowly setting and you can see the sunlight mounting off the Pacific. And I'm making my way towards this trail. And then yesterday I was standing above where you can see not down this road or that now ocean but you can see the marine headlands over there you got another path right here that will take you to sutro sutro baths we just came from that area over there 
and it is very windy today but look the Marin headlands point beneath the lighthouse is in a distance and then the Grand Pacific right over there we got ways to go and the people who started before me or they started after me they're already gone so we got to keep walking some got the herbs going on today it's a little incline going up to this little walk through no one told me there was going to be uphills but someone is indulging on the herbs oh, i don't even think we're almost there it is a nice sunny day today thank goodness like i said yesterday there is going to be rain towards the end of the week so that why this is the perfect time to do this and i'm huffing and puffing i've only literally walked 0.2 miles mount rock beach is 0.6 miles away and people are passing me up walking faster than i am <sighs> this is a workout this is a workout but you get the good view as long as you keep the ocean on your left hand side right there as long as you keep it there you're fine there's a little trail right there oh don't know why it has to be so loud it's a little trail right there and a the little edge right over there this is the area that I told you guys that's notorious for the U.S. Coast Guard, San Francisco Fire Department coming out here to rescue people because people will go down that edge. Right up there is the USS San Francisco Memorial. Been up there a few times. Remnants of the old battleship that sacrificed itself during one of the wars. And again, you have some paths down here that people would make to make their own paths down there. I want to say they're mountain bikers. They could be mountain bikers. See, so see these paths right there? So plain, so in sight. But this is what this used to be back in the days. Cliff House, Sea Cliff neighborhood. There used to be a train that goes along where we're walking right now. Pretty cool. Very cool. You get here early in the morning, so there's going to be a lot of people walking here, talking here. Sometimes it's good to get here early in the morning. Sometimes it's good to get here right about now. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. That's the problem about early in the morning misty there's all this fog still trying to clear itself up sometimes you can't even see the ocean if i pan out this way the ocean's right over there on a morning where it's always cold sometimes you can't even see that so today it's one of those nice days where you can see the ocean you can see marin it's a little breezy but it's not cold it's not hot i'll take it there's more remnants right there of the memorial USS San Francisco but the cool thing about this trail I'll show you right here the reveal as soon as we turn around this bend right here on the right you see the Golden Gate Bridge I don't know if you guys can see it in the video because it's a little washed out but the Golden Gate Bridge that's where everybody's at that's where everybody stopped at at the moment but what I like you know me I'm an ocean guy. I love seeing the water. I love hearing the ocean. Watch a step. Big hole. There's a tree right here. And there's a sign that tells you guys there's a hiking path right there. You just got to be careful. I think they're saying no hiking is what they're saying. No hiking because this is the trail right here. So no hiking down this trail. I'll break the rules just a little bit. Again, you can see the Golden Gate Bridge 
in the distance right over there and I uh, do a slow pan at the Pacific you got some of the rocks some of them are known as seal rock not sure what this is and if you look right there again one of that battery Garfrey the other day you can see the helipad used to be a helipad there's a story behind it I think there's a little signage over there where that guy is so we'll talk about that signage in a minute but this is really cool really really cool another nice view as I pan out that way you can see the Golden Gate Bridge I was there just the other day talked about that view talked about the Marin Headlands today no clouds in the sky it's very blue sky oceans nice and green man I just love hearing that sound the sound of the ocean again you can see all of Marin headlands right there. The Marin coastline you can see right there. Again, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Straight ahead right in front of me, you can see Point Bonita Lighthouse. I said that yesterday. And then somewhere over there, they got a Point Diablo Lighthouse as well. So Point Bonita, right in front of me a lot of people comes to visit Point Bonita Lighthouse when it's open it's a cool spot to visit but smack dab in the middle right there Point Bonita Lighthouse that's probably where the foghorn is yesterday I said there's a foghorn you could always hear the foghorn but again if you take that wrong step this way you're making your way down that way there is a little ledge right there like I said, this is probably where SFPD or SFFD and the Coast Guard always helps people out because they want to be adventurous. And if you look at the tip of the camera right over here, used to be an old Army Fort bunker right over there. Sticking out, there's some graffiti there. Not there anymore. All right, if you go up these stairs right here, it'll take you up to the USS San Francisco Memorial, Eagles Point. 0.8 miles and if I go back that way the lands End lands End trailhead I can't find that beach like they were saying but this is a nice little area and again you got people who decide to leave their garbage here for the Sansco Park and Rex to pick up but there's a little observation deck up there if you park up there for the Sansco Memorial you can see it but then this is what they call navigating the Golden Gate. So whenever you see Fleet Week, this is what you're looking for. And again, you can see, like I said, Point Bonita Lighthouse right there. That's what we were looking at. And this one right here, this is Point Diablo Lighthouse. And it's all across over there I'm just gonna keep walking till I see that sign where it says that beach rock but man look at my view over here look at that and then if I turn this way Golden Gate Bridge let me step over here look at that that is a remarkable view and again people spend thousands of dollars a year or whenever they can to go on vacation just to come see this view and us San Franciscans again the sub tourists the ones that don't live in the city but comes out here it's right in our backyard right here we can see it gotta take advantage of it more take advantage of it more come out here and check it out whoever that person is that decided to graffiti on the tree you're an idiot. Yep. Graffitiing on a tree when the tree hasn't done anything to you. There's no vehicles beyond this point right here. If I take this all the way around, it's going to take me to the Legion of Honor. 
I don't want to go down there. I'm just going to go right here. Check out the rocks. Wow, look at that rock formation right there. Check out the rocks. It's a little beach. And then a nice view of the Golden Gate Bridge. I said in yesterday's vlog, I will never get tired of this view. I can never get used to this view because I just can't believe how pretty it is. And I can never get tired of this view. And this is an area that I haven't really walked in in a while. And just to see these rock formations down there, to see the Pacific, there's a rock. Ooh, you just heard that big wave down there. I wish I can get down there. Oh, see that? See the way the waves are splashing on that rock? That is so cool. Again, people travel thousands of miles to go to Hawaii, spend all that money, when well, we have view right here. And if we just look up, it's the Golden Gate right there. That is cool. Super cool. I'm in awe right now. This is probably the best view the Golden Gate. You can see. Yesterday I told you guys a secret location to watch the Blue Angels. I think I might have found a new one overlooking the Golden Gate right there. There was a couple here earlier when I said I smelled the herbs. They were here firing up the doobie. Being one with Mother Nature. I'm not going to say nothing. I mean, it's legal now, right? It's just when you smell it, you're like, whew, what's that aroma? But man, check that view out. The view, you got the ocean right below me, right there. I cannot, cannot get tired of this view. Cannot get tired of this view. This is definitely a spot I will definitely come back on a weekend just to unwind and enjoy. That's beautiful. Next to my tripod right there, I got the DJI Action 2. It is shooting a time lapse. of the beach and the water right there. I'll let it, let, it, let it do its thing. Let you guys check it out right here. Just because this Canon can shoot in 4K, I decided to change from 1080 to 4K. Man, this is that 4K view that you're looking at right now. And quality, I'm trying to, trying to share what I'm seeing with my eyes, I'm trying to share with you guys. But this is the 4K quality. How'd you guys see it? All right, I flipped the camera around so you can see the 4K quality this way. Shooting in 1080p, depends where you're watching it. If you're watching it on your phone, your iPad, 1080, 4K, you can't really tell the difference, but I just wanted you guys to see what I'm seeing. The loud noise coming from over here. Sounds like a plane. Somewhere. But I just love the way the clouds over the Golden Gate over there, as you see my shadow in the distance. But just ch check out the clouds, the way it's coming. And the sound of an airplane coming somewhere. It's the only thing bad about time lapse. The good thing about this DJI action too, it tells you how long you've been recording for. So I've been recording for about three, four minutes, but it's only got 30 seconds of footage. So I guess I'm gonna have to sit here and enjoy this view. God, this is, this is 
good. There's like a little blowhole right there. Right in these rocks right there. And every now and then, you hear it. If you can get down there, get some remarkable photos. I believe so. But this is that one last look before I make my way back down the trail. This is not where I wanted to go to. I'm pretty sure where I wanted to go to was down there. There's a little ledge right over there that people can walk to, but I don't see anybody there right now. I'm not making my way there. Not today, at least. But then, again, that view with the rocks. To me, this view is just as pretty as Hawaii. Maybe even better. I know a lot of you guys in Hawaii is going to give me flack for that comment, but sometimes it's the truth. Sometimes the truth hurts. And seeing a view like that, it's breathtaking. And this is just one area. If I walk around the whole coastline, this is the San Francisco coastline. So if I make my way to like Monterey, Half Moon Bay, Pacifica, there's more down there. So this is just the San Francisco coastline. I haven't even touched the Marin coastline yet. And if I touch the Marin coastline, I'm definitely going to see more breathtaking views over there. Pretty cool. And again, there's a lot of people out today and I love it because it shows that this is an area that people like to go to. It's pretty cool. Like I said, I haven't even touched the Marin coastline. I did a time lapse on the top of the north side of the Golden Gate Bridge. So when you watch my intro and my outro, you see that there. But this is one cool area, one cool spot. And if you look in the distance, you can see a tanker ship coming in. Remember yesterday when I ended the vlog, there was a tanker ship going out. Today, there's a tanker ship going in. And again, if you look towards the distance, you see the silhouette of the Fairline Islands. But this right here, we move away from this plant that can never get old. Can never get old. All right, I'm making my way back towards the car. What I really wanted to do today was just test the low light quality on this Canon PowerShot V10. I put the ND filter to on and not auto. I, stability here is okay for a camera that's meant to be vlogging. I'm using the Manfrotto mini selfie stick. I was using this yesterday, but I'm using the Manfrotto mini selfie stick to extend my arm as far as I can because I have it on fully enhanced and it crops me even more. I tried to use this yesterday, but with this two inch screen, it's just hard for me to see everything. It's just hard for me to see where everything is. But the whole purpose of this video was just to be under these trees, test the low light quality. I'm gonna stand right under the sun. My, sun's, my face is gonna get hit with some sunlight, but then it gets dark again. But I saw the views. I saw this trail when I was looking it out. For you guys who don't watch me on a regular, I always map out where I'm going. So if I'm gonna walk on a trail like this, I map it out all the time just to make sure I know where I'm going. I don't end up in the wrong spot. So when I was mapping this out and I saw that there was views there, I decided, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't regret it. I love it. It's cool. There's a fork in the road. If you take that one to the left, it's gonna take you to Geary, Sea Cliff Inn, but I took this way. And I'll tell you right now, I don't remember if I came from up here or down there. I think I came from up here. This has the hill. So I came from up here. This is where I was complaining about no one told me that it was uphill. And the first scent of herbs was kicking up around this area. But man, look at that backdrop. Look at that sunlight glistening off the Pacific Ocean. Again, I'll take that any day of the week. 
I will. It is a lot windier up here than it was on the trail over there. That's because we got the open ocean right over here and there's no cliff that's dividing me from the open elements. I do have my GoPro Action 2 again doing a time lapse of the ocean over there. Trust me, if you haven't seen the time lapse of the ocean, you're gonna think, man, it's just waves crashing. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. But man, this has been fun, fun trip. Sutro baths right over here, right over there. Sutro Heights where the Sutro Mansion used to be. Adolf Sutro was a big player here in San Francisco, one of the mayors, one of the founding San Franciscans here in San Francisco. The wind is kicked up again, like I said. My hair is all over my face again like i said but this has been fun i'm trying to get you give you guys the view of the ocean but that's the direction the wind is blowing so that's what's going on with my hair but again don't forget to like comment thumbs up this video like comment subscribe I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year that's my goal end of the year i gave myself plenty of time to get to 2,000 subscribers but what i need you guys to do is just share my videos share my page and just say hey Eric is trying to get back to 2,000 vlogs. And I put my Patreon link again down below. So if you guys want to help me out just a little bit, a dollar a month, two dollars a month can help me go out and pay for gas to go out to places like this. Um, I do ask if there's any place in San Francisco you guys want me to go check out, let me know. Give me some time, give me some notice. So don't come on today's vlog and say, go here tomorrow. Give me some time. I do research. I do check places out before I head out over there just because I want to make sure I'm safe and safety of me comes first. So um, not vlogging with anything that's like thousands of dollars worth of stuff, but still my safety comes first. So let me know, but this has been a fun trip. Land's End Trail, definitely go check it out. It's a good place to see. Um, I'm shooting with a Canon PowerShot V10 again. Um, I'm using the DJI Mic 2 with the DJI lapel mic right there with a wind muff so hopefully the wind is minimal and again i was surprised yesterday that there was hardly any wind you can hear it but hardly any so this wind muff is definitely doing its job um someone's been trying to tell me to get the dgi osmo pocket three but this right here this will suffice this will do its job because of the color the color scheme that canon has but again thumbs up don't forget to like comment and subscribe being a tourist in your own city always got to do it. You always got to do it. And I enjoy it. Again, the view, the sounds of the ocean. It's fun. Thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Leave me comments down below. Here from Sutro Bath, just getting over Land's End's trail. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlogs ended. Go in peace. Enjoy this time lapse. I came from up there, no wind. I get down here to the open ocean and it's wind galore. I don't mind it. I made this.